It's easy to get overwhelmed when we're choosing plugins in WordPress. So today I'm giving you guys the best combinations of plugins you can get to really prepare your website for some high level SEO performance. To start off, what we need is a heavy duty SEO plugin that takes care of absolutely everything from setting up our sitemaps and our redirects to also telling us how optimized our content is. I've tried Yoast in the past and I've always been a really big fan. I've also tried all-in-one SEO, but recently I got introduced to Rank Math and it has been my preferred choice now for any website that I'm working with. So just like the other two plugins, as you guys can see on my screen, we're gonna work with a specific content score that we need to try to improve, right? We do start off with this specific snippet. Yoast has this as well, so we can edit the title, the meta description, and the permalink, so this is very useful. We also get that score to know more or less how we're doing, which I think is great. But what we wanna do when we're starting out with this specific plugin is add in a focus keyword for every piece of content that we're working with. So in this specific example, we're working with this specific focus keyword, right? Which is Mediterranean diet. And now we can see that the content score has changed completely. So now I have an 80 out of 100 and we're going to get a list of all the things that I'm doing right and all the things that I could be improving, right? So the focus keyword is in the title, it's in the meta description, in the URL. It appears in the first 10% of the content. The content is long. So all these things are going to help me know whether or not that content is optimized properly, right? So let's look at some additional things. Rank Math is telling me that they couldn't find any internal links, which is true. That's just a piece of content I copied off Healthline. And then it's telling me to use the content AI to optimize the page, right? So this is something pretty cool inside of Rank Math. They do have a small AI feature that you can play with to help you optimize that content. Because we're using the free plan, even though it is very complete, we don't have a lot of credits for the AI, but if we're interested in getting that pro subscription, we are gonna be able to play with it a lot more. So title read readability, content readability, pretty basic stuff, right, for an SEO plugin. We know exactly what we need to work on and what we want to improve. So if we continue on and click into this other section, we now have an advanced SEO tab. We can decide whether or not we wanna index the specific page, some advanced robot stuff, the canonical, and if we wanna add a redirect, right? So all this stuff makes a lot of sense. But a really cool thing that I haven't found in other SEO plugins is the schema generator, right? So we can, whenever we want, add in a perfectly optimized piece of schema, that structured data, that's going to help us come up for those rich snippets. If you guys want to learn more about structured data, I recommend you guys click into this video up here or up there. So let's say I wanted to add, for example, a product um, while I'm talking about this Mediterranean diet, I'm also going to plug in a brand of cast iron pans, right? So I can just quickly add in cast iron pans, fill everything out, a description, the brand name, the price. And now as soon as I save that, that's now going to be updated in the post. And I'm going to have a nice piece of product structured data without doing much work, right? So this is something that I haven't seen in a lot of other plugins, and it's really helpful to be able to use structured data throughout all of my posts, right? And then all the way at the end, we now have this social preview of what it would look like if we shared this specific URL, which is quite cool. But all this is pretty basic stuff. I do wanna show you guys where Rank Math goes a little bit above and beyond. So if we click into the plugin, we're gonna see that Rank Math actually does a lot more things than we'd expect, right? So we have this 404 monitor. It's gonna tell us if it finds any 404s and it's gonna alert us. We also have this AMP feature that helps us convert pages to AMP, which can often be faster for mobile. We also have an analytics section of the plugin, which means we now don't have to download Monster Insights, right? So now we're removing an additional plugin. We have the Content AI, which we talked about previously, Image SEO. So this is gonna help us to add alt tags and all that type of stuff, instant indexing, link counters. So this is gonna help us with internal, external links, local SEO, if we're in that space, also very important, and redirections, right? So usually in the past, before I was using Rank Math, I would have to download another plugin for redirects, not in this case anymore, right? We have this specific feature of that plugin. So structured data we just talked about. We also have an SEO analysis, which we'll talk about in a bit. We get a sitemap created, and we also have the additional WooCommerce feature. So it's an extremely complete plugin. Again, very heavy duty, takes care of absolutely everything. And even though I'm a big fan of Yoast and a big fan of all-in-one SEO, I have found that this is the most complete plugin that also allows me to reduce the number of plugins that I have on my WordPress websites. The next plugin is a must-have plugin for me. This is something that I add to every single piece of content that I write and any WordPress website that I'm working with always has this plugin. And that's a table of contents plugin. Now, there's a 
variety of these. I'm currently using easy table of contents, but again, you guys can you guys can do a quick search inside the WordPress plugin marketplace and you'll see that there's a variety of them and they all work quite well. Let me show you guys really quickly how this works. So if I scroll all the way down here on this post, so if I just quickly select insert table of contents, I save this draft and I view the preview, we're now gonna see that this plugin has just created a brand new table of contents, right? So very easy to navigate. If we click into any of it, it takes us all the way down to it. So very helpful for that user to read very long form content. And if we go back, let's say I think this table of contents is a bit too long. What I can do is I can go back down and I can just say, just show me H2 headings on this table of contents, right? So now it's gonna be a much shorter table of contents, a lot easier to digest for that reader. So there we go, now it's just a one to 10, makes a lot more sense. This is also tied into making sure that we have properly structured content, right? It's gonna make that use of that table of contents plugin a lot easier. Now, let's talk about page speed, right? So I know things can get confusing here. There's a lot of different things that we're looking for when, when we start looking into our page speed, right? So we want to make sure that we have a plugin that helps us with our cache. We want to make sure that we have a plugin that helps us minify CSS and JavaScript. We also want to have a plugin that helps us lazy load images amongst a bunch of other things, right? So this is where things can get complicated and we end up getting three or four different plugins that conflict with each other and end up not working properly. So I have two recommendations here, guys. The first one and the one I use most often is adding Lightspeed Cache. So this is a very powerful plugin that takes care of almost everything related to your website speed. It is true that this plugin works best if you have a Lightspeed server. And don't get scared, guys. There's actually a really long list of hosting providers that have a Lightspeed server. Yours might as well. I'll leave a link to that list down in the description so you guys can check if your hosting provider has a Lightspeed server. But there's a lot of really big players like Namecheap, which I use a lot, A2 Hosting and Hostinger, for example, amongst other really big names. So if we do have that Lightspeed server, we are gonna want to use this Lightspeed cache. Let me show you guys all the different things that we can do with a Lightspeed cache. So we're gonna click into it here. I don't have it properly set up just because this specific website is just a really quick landing page for me. But if we check all the different functionalities and all the different features that we have with this plugin, we're gonna see that it's very complete. So we have a very detailed control of our cache, a bunch of different settings that we can play with. I'm not gonna go into all of this, but you guys can definitely explore all of that. We can also take advantage of a free CDN like Quick Cloud CDN, and that's also gonna improve our website speed quite a lot. We also have image optimization, which we can work with. We have page optimization, which also helps us tackle a lot of different speed problems, right? So if we wanna minify CSS, if we wanna minify JavaScript, HTML, if we wanna lazy load images. So we have a variety of different settings that we can play with, and it shows us that this is a very heavy duty speed plugin for our WordPress website. So I really recommend using this plugin. It is completely free. If you find out that you don't have a Lightspeed server, then another very similar and very powerful SEO plugin for speed that I like to use is WP Rocket. So I've seen it work very well for everything related to page speed. It is a paid plugin, which I hate to recommend. The cheapest plan is $50 a year, but if you can afford that and you're not on a Lightspeed server, then I really recommend getting WP Rocket. It works extremely well. And then guys, a few extra plugins that I like to work with that aren't very tied to SEO is I like to use Elementor as a drag and drop builder. I like to use Contact Form 7 for all my contact forms on my websites that work very well. And I like to use Security for security. So a lot of these plugins tie into having great on-page SEO. And if you guys wanna learn more about on-page SEO, I really recommend you guys check out this video where I give you guys an in-depth on-page SEO checklist to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. Thanks for staying till the end, guys. I'll see you in the next one.